Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about PayPal and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you dispute a transaction or a charge on PayPal? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to dispute a transaction on PayPal anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. PayPal is a convenient way to pay for a lot of services online. And sometimes things don't go right and you're not able to contact the vendor to cancel cancel a service, or maybe it wasn't what you expected, and you've already tried to ask them for a refund, but it just didn't work out. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the PayPal app. It's this blue and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to go ahead and open up my PayPal app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my PayPal. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to dispute a charge on PayPal, First, you're gonna scroll down until you find the transaction here in the recent activity. For example, we'll use this one from Uber. So let me go ahead and click on that transaction. Okay, once you click there, it's gonna show more information about your charge on PayPal. Now, in order to dispute this charge, what you wanna do is click on this button here called report a problem. It has a little exclamation mark next to it. Okay, once you click there, it's gonna show more information about that transaction once again. However, in order to dispute this charge on PayPal, what you wanna do is scroll down until you see this button here called report issue to PayPal. Now it is recommended you try to get in touch with the vendor first and ask them to go ahead and refund or let them know what the problem is. And that way it gives them a chance to kind of fix the situation. If that doesn't work out, then you definitely want to go here and report issue to PayPal. Okay. So once you click there, you're going to have to choose why you're disputing this transaction. So they have a lot of different options here. So if you didn't receive the item or the service, if you want a refund, you're going to click there. If you weren't satisfied with the seller's offer. So just kind of scroll through and then just choose the one that applies to your particular charge. So for this one, we'll click on, I want a refund. Okay. So here you want to go ahead and just try to fill out as much as possible when you're disputing a charge on PayPal, because this will be reviewed by a person. And just keep in mind, they have no idea what's going on with this particular transaction. So the more information you provide, the better arm they are going to be to come up with a good resolution for you and the seller. So let me go ahead and fill this out off screen. Okay. So I went ahead and filled this out. So here's a drop down. You get to choose what type of item, what type of category right here. And then the quantity. So once you have that filled out, go ahead and click on continue. Okay. So here you see this little chart. So we're progressing along this dispute through PayPal. So next you want to go ahead and choose why you're having a problem with them. Okay. Once you've chosen, go ahead and click on this blue continue button. Okay. So here, once again, you want to go ahead and try to include as much information as possible. And that way they get a good picture of what the situation is, why you are disputing this charge on PayPal. So let me go ahead and just type in something here. Okay. So here you can go ahead and add a link. If you bought some sort of a service or a product, be sure to link to that page from that seller's website. And that way it gives evidence on what's supposed to be included with that service. And then you can go ahead and and put in the refund amount that you're looking for. Once all that's filled out, go ahead and click on continue. Okay, next PayPal is asking in order for this dispute to go on, you need to confirm that you already tried to contact the seller. So I'll click on yes. And then here you wanna go ahead and choose when you tried to contact them and then how you tried to contact them. Okay, so next we're gonna click on continue. Okay, so here you can go ahead and upload any types of documents that might support your dispute on PayPal. So if you have any kind of receipts or maybe a picture of if the merchandise was damaged or the box was damaged, go ahead and include all of that there. Once you fill that out and you'd still like to go ahead and continue this dispute on PayPal, click on this blue submit button. I'm not going to do that because I actually didn't have any issues with my Uber. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to dispute a charge on PayPal, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.